Hi guys, it's Chuck from Culture Cowboy, and I want to tell you, we're having a cold spell here at Cowboy Shop. It's down to like 85 degrees. I don't know what we're going to have to do. Anyways, get to what we're talking about today. Crate sole boots. Now there are crate sole boots or crate sole boots. And what happened over time, the crate sole has been known really as a cheaper kind of boot. The problem with it is it mushed in real fast broke down and the reason being it was air blown into plastic so mr justin was sitting around talking one day with one of the uh, tire rubber companies and he said wonder if we could take something in a crepe sole and make it more durable so what they're doing is they're blowing air bubbles into rubber so you get that soft spongy feel but you get that softness that great walking and uh it's durable it truly is now Justin was the first company I knew that put these things out and they did it really looking for something new but like the horse show market. What's happened is recently Justin is very much, very much in the production company. So they've stopped making the crepe sole boots. The sales have dropped off some but there's still a great big fan club including me. If you're walking in see me, these things are wonderful. If you're working out in the yard, they're wonderful there too. But especially if you're standing up all day long on concrete, I want to recommend one of these crepe sole boots. Because we have found out which company is making the soles. And we're able to get them and do a custom boot where Justin is not doing them anymore. We do have a couple of, pe a couple of pieces that are left. This particular boot, again, crepe sole, very soft, one piece. It's actually a glued on construction. The stitching looks pretty good here, but it's actually a blue on type sole. This is kind of a blonde foot. It's a shoulder leather. Uh, inside, you've got a nice glove lining in it. Very well made. Good little old boot. We've only got one size left of this, and this is a nine and a half double E. If that fits you, love to put you in that thing. There's a little darker version, and I want to say that this is the original in what they're doing. Some of my customers are telling me that they're not quite as pleased with what they're getting today as they used to get yesterday. One thing to watch for, no matter the brand, feel the heel counter. This heel counter on this type boot should be stiff. It makes everything hold together better. You've got a spur rest here, as you can see. Here we've got a black heel, a brown foot, a chocolate brown upper. In this one, I think we've got a 10D left in this, and a solid black one. And this has been great. I have a good friend, he is a Methodist minister, and he was wanting to make boots. Not too cowboy, but just enough like four quill ostrich. Now this was popular in those horse shows that I was telling you about. Very popular for salesmen, very popular anywhere. Uh, we actually had medical professionals wearing these things. Again, Crate Soul Boot. They were called Techno Crates Justin. Now we just call them Crate Soul Boots. In this pickle boot, We've got a 10B in this one, and my associate says we might have another one or two. Now I want to switch over. Take a look. So, here we are. I'm going to pull one off and show you. This boot is several years old, and this is the original sole that came on it. Uh, as you can see, it's Vibram is the maker of this. Vibram does lots of tires, and they do lots of shoe soles and boot soles. Uh, this one I chose to have a single stitch around instead of a double stitch. Our custom boot maker will do either one you want. Depends on whether you like that wider look or not. I can't say enough good about this boot. If you can see the quality of this, this is a smooth ostrich instead of a full quill. I've got the same comfort as this full quill, but not quite the cost. In our custom boot maker right now, these are running $6,650. Uh, depending on what we're having to pay for the skins at the time. And so you have a, a marker to go against. A typical Western boot from this custom maker is going to be right about $500, give or take $25. Quality's great. Piping is actually leather piping, not string covered with plastic. The inside liner is very much the best glove leather's made. The boot's very comfortable. And again, I've worn them, worn them well. And we're holding up good. Thank you for 
coming to visit us, hit that bell, click the button, whatever you need to do to subscribe, and we'll try to teach you as much as we can. So, there was a big question. What is the cheaper crate versus the more expensive crate that we were just talking about? And this is a sample of a boot that's got the lower price crate. But this is a boot that's like $69. And when you're getting out, they can't spend a whole lot of money on that sole. What I want to show you is, this is in good shape and pretty neat. Same glue on construction. And shoe repair shops can fix that as long as they got a bucket of glue. But here's the challenge. This is a shoe that was never on a foot. Now granted, this is not a shoe we sold a lot of. And it's from a brand that, that has been well respected. But this happened on the shelf just from oxidation on these cheaper soles. I know you don't want your boot to look like this. I don't want to sell boots like this. I keep things like this sometimes to show people what they don't want to buy. And you don't want to buy some of these newer type soles that are going on boots where they're trying to make a little higher profit margin for everybody, especially themselves. These things are tough. They will hold up. You will not have that problem. If we ever sell you a boot in a custom boot, typically we have the Justin and the Tony Lama lasting systems. If there's a problem with fit, you just call me. We'll work it through. A lot of times when we're ordering something for somebody, we'll get two or three sizes around as well. Thank you again. I hope that explains the difference between the crepe soles. So that's crepe soles. If you're a fan, you already know about it. If you don't, if you're walking around, because of my chemotherapy, I've got a little bit of uh, what's called distal neuropathy. And with that, it brings my feet tingle all the time. And I found these boots are great for helping my feet with that particular issue. So if you've got some neuropathy, that's another reason you might want to try these things out and see how they'll go for you. Culture Cowboy, good to see everybody. Thank you so much for paying attention to this long video. I wish you well. Happy summer. Back to school's on its way. Watch your cowboy. While you're here, there's a subscribe button. There's a bell you can ring. Get some notifications. Videos getting stronger and stronger, and we want to be a part of your life. We really do. Not to be intrusive, but just to be fun and happy. So, subscribe if you like. The channel's Cultured Cowboy on YouTube. Y'all enjoy.